Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Paul Diano Singer Breakdown. Just wanted to put a little disclaimer here at the beginning of the video. If I've looked tired in the last few Singer Breakdowns, it's because I tend to record these videos at night. Also, for today, I'm particularly tired because I've just got back from Oxford seeing Status Quo with ZT. There's going to be some clips uh, from that in my next vlog. But anyway... On with the breakdown. Paul Andrews, better known by his stage name Paul Diano, was born on the 17th of May 1958 in Chingford, London, England. Born half Brazilian and thus holding dual citizenship, Diano spent a lot of his teenage years working as a butcher and a chef, and in his free time singing in various rock bands. Paul was introduced to Iron Maiden in 1978 by drummer Doug Sampson, and asked if he would join the band after the untimely departure of their singer Dennis Wilcox, who had apparently pressured bassist and founder of Iron Maiden, Steve Harris, into firing every single member of the band. Before before then, in an ironic twist of fate, being fired himself. And the rest, as they say, is history. Diano then went on to sing on Iron Maiden's first two albums, their self-titled and the album Killers. Iron Maiden hit the big time with their first two albums, soaring quickly to mainstream success, and consequently going on multiple world tours. Unfortunately, this was the thing that was to undo Diano's success with Iron Maiden, as he quickly built up a reputation for drug and alcohol abuse, leading to an inability to perform, and to Iron Maiden's decision to fire him. Maiden then decided to look to hiring a singer who could not only deliver the goods, but also cope with the massive pressures of touring that Paul Diano wasn't able to. Then into the fray comes former singer of the band Samson, Bruce Dickinson. Today I'll be breaking down Paul's vocals in four parts. Range, tone, technique, and longevity. Range. Paul has a range from a bass B1 in the song S&M. a soprano B flat 5 in the song Running Free. This makes his range 3 octaves and 11 semitones, only one semitone away from the coveted 4 octave range and tying with the verified range of Eric Adams from Manowar. 3 octaves and 11 semitones is a fantastic range and makes perfect sense for Paul who started his career by singing a distorted punk style on his middle register and emulating the high screams popularised by Plant, Gillen and particularly Rob Halford whose band Judas Priest had a friendly rivalry with Maiden in the 1980s being considered birds of the same heavy metal feather. Tone Paul's tone is very clearly inspired by punk rock, which would have been the dominant genre of the era in Paul's younger days. He also, once again, has a piercing distorted wail sort of tonality in his upper register, giving that classic metal sound of shrieking in harmony with the distorted guitars that the singer has to sing against. Paul's voice has a darker tonality, with a well pronounced rasp that he can engage on command. His higher notes are considerably darker and deeper in their tone when compared to Bruce Dickinson, alluding to how Paul is more likely a natural baritone in contrast to Bruce's tenor voice. Technique Paul's technique is primal in nature, being super distorted, powerful, and heavy as hell. He has a good range and distortion like Rob Halford and Bruce Dickinson, but also a dark tonality like Eric Adams, implying that he has good enough control of his voice to add different colours at will. The only issue I notice about Paul's technique is, especially with Maiden, he sometimes seems to run out of breath at the end of phrases, and his passaggio control isn't always good enough to let him hit higher notes, often falling short and flat. That said, I'd attribute that personally to his alleged substance abuse issues when he was with Iron Maiden, which can cause one's control to fail, especially on a long world tour. Longevity. Paul has been singing heavy metal since the 70s, which means he's had a career that now spans the better part of 50 years. Unfortunately, his health has deteriorated in that time, leading to a deterioration in his voice. 
Though his longevity may not be good, Paul's commitment to his craft is undoubtable, going so far as to perform from his wheelchair live for fans. Paul's dedication is absolutely first class. And there we have it, Mr. Paul Diano of Iron Maiden, Killers, Battle Zone. Paul Diano, most well known for Iron Maiden. Thank you all very much for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of content. And if you're new around here, go and have a look at my other singer breakdowns. I'm sure you'll find something that you enjoy. And don't forget to leave a comment below with any suggestions for singers you'd like to see me break down next. And I will see you in the next video.